Yellow Yellow JP here with a revisited video on a video we had posted on the Brizzy official YouTube channel. Create a split menu in your header. And one important question that came from this video from Bad Cat Design is strange that Bloxy shows menu one and menu two in their builder, yet displays menu one on both sides of the logo on the live side. I'll show you what they mean by that. If you have no idea what this is about, check the link for this video in the description below and then you can follow along with it. Here is the site that I had created, and I had created it actually two different pages, two different ways. One I did with Brizzy Pro, and the other one we did with the Bloxy theme. And the Bloxy theme is here with dining. Now you will notice here on the Brizzy Pro one that we have dining activities and home on the left, and then offers and rooms and contact on the right. If I click here on dining, which will take us to the header that I had created, you will observe what Bad Cat Design is talking about. Here I have dining activities and home on the left, and dining activities and home on the right. This is on the Bloxy mistake. This is a pure nincompoop mistake that JP made. Let's go into our builder. I'll go to dining here. And I'm jumping between two browsers. One is Blisk to show that responsiveness, and this one is Chrome. And I'm going to say here, customize. We're not going to edit the page with Brizzy. We are working now with the header of the Bloxy theme. Go to Customize, and then we are going to select Header. So here we have the header, and we had built it out here in the bottom where the header builder is. We've put the logo in the middle. We've put Menu 1 on the left and Menu 2 on the right. And this is where I screwed up. Let's go to Menu 1 and click on it. And by clicking on it, you will see all the functions and options here in the sidebar on the left. And you will see Select Menu, Left Menu. That's exactly what we want. We want left to go left. Go ahead and click on menu two, and you will see select menu. I need to put that on right menu. Let's do that, and you will see your offers, rooms, and contact, and let's publish it. Let's go view it on the front end. We're not done yet. There's one more important thing that that one I always forget about. Refresh our page, and then let's have a look at what's going on. Yep, perfecto. Because if we go into mobile view, what's going to happen now? The great part about working with a header in mobile is, is that it's dedicated. So you don't have the same problems that you're going to run into when making a header in Brizzy Pro. If I click here on this hamburger menu, what do you expect to see? And the problem is you're going to see only one of those menus. We will need to fix this. And that's very, very important. So go in here and in the Bloxy Builder, you have here at the bottom desktop header and you have disconnected to it the mobile header. These two are not linked. You build them up separately. For that, then I have to click on the mobile header and you will see here I have logo and then over here is the trigger. And the trigger is this one, of course, up here. I can just click on that as well. How do I change this menu? Now, this area is called a drawer and you will see that the drawer appears here on this side and it says currently mobile menu. Let's delete these two because I just want that out of there. Right, so now you can see the drawer is empty. Now we go again here where your elements appear on the left, the builder elements. Click and drag on mobile menu. And guys, if I'm going too quickly, this is not a tutorial on Bloxy. I'm just showing you those things that we ran into how to fix it. So now we only have, this is the left menu. Click again on it to activate the settings and you will see select menu left or right. But we don't want that right. We want everything in there. So to do that, we will need to go and create a full menu. Let's just publish it here. So keep our work intact. And then you can go to your menus over here within the sidebar menus screen. It's going to open that. We need to create a new menu to include all our pages. So I'm going to go to menu name, and of course we will call this main menu, create that menu, and then go to view all. All, select all, add to menu. And let's just quickly contact at the bottom, offers here, rooms before dining, and then we just say save menu. Many builders will have the option here to assign the menu, but you're not going to do that in Bloxy. You do that within the customizer for Bloxy. If we go back into this and you look here, you're not going to see it there because you need to refresh this page. And I believe when I refresh it, it may just take me back to the 
main sidebar. So we just do that again. Click on header, activate mobile header here. Click on mobile menu, go to select menu and choose your main menu, publish. And now let's go to our front end here, reload it, reload it. Yes. And now if I click on the menu, you will see everything appears here very, very well. The only thing that I've seen here now after we've refreshed it, let's go back quickly to our desktop header menu one and make sure menu is on left menu. Okay, publish that. I wonder if this is a glitch. Let me see and if we go to mobile header. Mobile. It's on main. So let's see now if we got that fixed. There we go, go, we have left, we have right, and what do we have here? We have main. Everything worked out for the better, Papa. Hope this revisited video helped to address that issue, and that's how you assign the menus in the Bloxy header. I've had a lot of requests about Bloxy as a theme. I love Bloxy. The guys at Bloxy are absolutely spectacular, and everything that you've seen me do here is done with the Bloxy free. There's not a pro version yet. In the future, yes but currently everything is free. And these are premium features. That header builder, best on the market I've seen in a free WordPress theme builder. So go and check out Bloxy.